Well, in Dateline, the story follows along with investigators and those closest to the cases. But tonight, we're tackling a crime before it ever even happens. Right. Channel 6's Cole Johnson introduces us to a human trafficking expert who has spent nearly two decades tracking down missing people. Cole joins us now with her story. Hi, Cole. Asser was the former executive director of the Heidi Search Center, a group that tracked down missing people. She tells me she parents need to be on the lookout now more than ever because we live in a world surrounded by technology. People don't understand when someone's missing, it's worse than if they're deceased. Their life has experienced a nuclear explosion. It's a fear no person ever once realized. Finding out your loved one is missing. It's a trauma that I don't have words to describe. Dottie Laster is a human trafficking expert and the former executive director of the Heidi Search Center in San Antonio, an organization that worked with families looking for missing relatives. Our services were requested by endless numbers of people. If you look at some of our cases, they were all over Texas and some even outside of Texas and um, across the nation. The center was around for decades and even helped fund resources for families in these situations. Cases they worked took them all over including right here in Central Texas, like when Denadia Thompson went missing back in 1997. Each case at the minimum would be $1,200, and if we wound up working it for a month, the expense could be as much as $20,000. All those cases, along with rising taxes, created a financial burden the group couldn't sustain, forcing them to close their doors in January of 2018. But Dottie is still fighting and working to keep families vigilant to a growing issue. Sadly, instead of needing less of our help, it's getting more, it's, 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 it's drowning. Dottie says a big problem with current missing cases is the access to technology. The worst fears of every parent are being met every day. Everything you ever protected your child from is waiting on the other end of that phone or that video game. With hundreds of apps and access to the internet, Dottie says kids nowadays are extremely vulnerable to predators because they can connect with anyone in the world. They think they're intelligent because they have access to all this knowledge, and they do, but they have no life experience to understand the evil that awaits a simple message such as hi. She says parents should know all of their kids' information, and so she created a digital DNA kit to help her in tracking down missing kids using social media and to help parents monitor who they're talking with online. My kid's missing, I call police and SWAT and everybody shows up, but that is not the way it is. And so getting evidence documented and found might be the only way that it gets to a detective that can do things that civilians can't do. Dottie warns parents about their kids being groomed by online predators and to pay attention to how kids are acting, all to avoid a pain unlike any other. Ask any family with a long-term missing and they'll say, even if it's the worst, even if they're deceased, I need to know because then I can adjust my life accordingly. If you want to take a look at one of Dottie's digital DNA kits, we have the forms on our website, kcntv.com and on our mobile app. Chris and Leslie.